Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use MemoQ to translate online. Up to now we've used uh, MemoQ in its desktop version and MemoQ Translator Pro. Here I'm going to show you a project that's been made to be translated online. To translate online you go to a website which contains a server which offers MemoQ Web. This is MemoQ on the web. The particular server is the one that we use with our students in my faculty, but I just want to show you the principle. Really, I just want to show you the interface. So let's see, I'll uh, log in with a student name, or rather a student identity. When I do that, student uh, user profile is opened up and here for example we can see a project that's available for students for or rather for this student if I click we can see that this student has um, a translation and a review to do so if I click on this uh, job I can open it up for translation we can see here there's this lists the jobs that have been assigned and in this case they can either be reviewing or translating so i come to a job i'm concerned with and i just click to open it up and after a few seconds the uh, interface will open up this basically is what memoq looks like online this is available as part of the Project Manager version of Tradus or the MemoQ um, cloud server. And I think it's a pity because many people do not see this if they're just familiar with the Translator Pro. So this is the interface. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. So, for example, if we translate this, Um, we press control enter the same uh, now I've done some sim my students have done some similar translations so we can uh, we'll just translate another segment Okay, so you can see the familiar pattern of MemoQ is there, although the interface is slightly different. We have a source text target test. We have the same symbols here. We have the translation results. So if I come back up to here, we can see actually uh, we've got quite a lot of uh, text here. We also have icons here, so we can put formatting options, uh, here we can put all the tags uh, we can uh, copy next tag sequence f9 if we have to deal with tags uh, and there are various options here one thing that is different is we cannot um, use a right click option with our mouse because um, a right click option would only supply us with options for dealing with the web page itself because this is essentially uh, a translation being done on a web page so basically you just translate and if you notice up here you have your page which you use to log in and we clicked on this to open the translation and then the translation actually opens in a new page I can come here and I can click on this revision and it will open up in a new page except the notice I'm not allowed to do this because the translator has not finished and this project has been set up so I can't um, re revise it until the translation is finished anyway I just wanted to show you essentially this is the interface um, 
and thank you very much for listening to this video.